It's been a minute, but we're back with some more Dark Aether here on my second account. And today, we're going to be getting the Hammer and Sickle done on Forsaken with the Rampage Inducer on. And really quick, before we get too far into it, all I have left is the Hammer and Sickle, which we're completing today, and the Scythe. After that, I have every single weapon in Cold War Zombies done. So let me know if you want to see me stream the Scythe or just make another video on it. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on it. Anyways, here's our hammer and sickle. We have absolutely no camel progress on it, so we still need to get 750 kills with it. 50 melee kills while they're stunned. 750 kills while it's pack-a-punch. 15 kills in Aether Shroud. 10 special or elite eliminations. 10 kills rapidly. And then our 20 kills without getting hit or our jackrabbit medals. So this one's going to be tough with a Rampage Inducer on. But I'm going into it with Aether Shroud. I'll probably end up switching this out for Tesla Storm or something that can help me get those jackrabbit medals easier once we get that camo done. But I think that's all set for our loadout. Let's go ahead hop on forsaken and try to get this thing done all right here we are walking on into forsaken and before we get too comfortable i'm running straight for the rampage inducer this is about to be tough okay we're already getting hit let's get our first kills in and actually let's let's start up this teleporter i don't want to be stuck in here if i don't have to be the rampage inducer is kind of tame on these like first few rounds compared to how it used to be like you guys remember when the rampage inducer only went up to round 20 and it was immediate like sprinter zombies now they they're fast yeah but they're they're not sprinting fast but well, this is still scary as hell there's so many zombies oh but we have a max ammo though we're safe but really quickly while i'm running for my life uh let me address the elephant in the room on why i haven't uh, made a dark aether video in a minute and just to keep it brief uh i honestly i just felt like i was making the same video over and over again i kind of want to just switch my content up I felt like I was kind of draining myself creatively and I wanted to do something different so I didn't get burned out. And then with only a few weapons left, I didn't want to try to force a video of me trying to get Dark Aether on something and then not like it. And then it's like, oh, well, I just wasted that video and this weapon. Because after going for Dark Aether, not only once, but twice, it's, you know, it, there's only so much you can do. And uh, I know I've gotten a few questions. Am I going to be going for it for a third time? Probably not. I, I don't see myself going for it for a whole nother account worth. I might make another account and try out like high rounding with no upgrades because that kind of sounds fun. But besides that, I have no plans to uh, make a third account and grind for Dark Aether again. I think I'll, I'm just down to wait for the next Treyarch zombies to come out to grind some zombies camos. And it was also the same reasoning why I haven't really made a Road to Dark Matter either. But for that one, I know Modern Warfare 2 is coming out soon and I know I won't be able to get to Dark Matter before the game releases. And I knew I was just going to be trying to grind out modern warfare instead of just playing like two-year-old cold war multiplayer trying to get camos for that you know so i apologize for the the length in between episodes but it was for a good reason i think i'm gonna stay in this first room until i have like ten thousand, because then at least we can get some ground covered because if i leave right now i'm not gonna have as good of a training area as right here and i'll probably die and i'll be broke all things that i don't want so let's just try to get knock out some of these stun kills there we go that's like a good four of them. That's not bad. Oh, we got 10. There's our first camo for it. You know, let's try to get some Aether Shroud kills while we're at it. Oh, we're at 50 kills total. There's our Destinance camo and our Bravado camo. Now I'm just waiting for one of these zombies to drop some more stuns. So I don't want to waste an Aether Shroud to go into the workbench to craft some. So I know if I go there without one, I'll just go down. Actually, let me try to grab a perk without going down. Okay. Yep keyword there was try gonna have to self-revive yeah uh, let's go for it again you can tell i don't learn but they're too far away to notice but now if i do end up making out of here alive i'll have more scrap for it or more salvage oh climb you bitch no i probably picked the wrong spot to climb up at but we died on round six this is ridiculous i'm gonna pretend like nothing happened i'm turning the rampage inducer back on definitely not our second game and i think if we want death perception we're gonna have to get it early because that was bad the hammer and sickle is actually a lot faster than i remember it being it's just baba -ba, baba -ba, baba -ba. what's it like getting double swinged on zombies i know you don't like it you want to get windmilled there already might be too many zombies to try to go for death perception this is bad that zombie was literally just standing there doing nothing. I don't know what was going on there. No way! I'm already cornering myself again. Okay. At this point, it's me fighting me. These zombies are just an extra bonus. Instead of getting this all done in like one or two games, we might just end up playing like 15 different ones with the rate I'm going. Oh my lanta. I have a double points that I can't even take advantage of because I every time I turn around and try to swing, I get hit 15 times. Oh, actually, we're doing it. 
Just can't run into anything. One of you guys need to drop a stun right now. All right, cool. Don't listen to me. Give me that armor though. Thank you. Oh, they dropped a stun. Finally. I just need to loop back around to it. Got it. I got to get them all close together. So the stun affects all of them. All right, that's close enough. There we go. Let me get a few more stun kills in here. This is so dangerous. All right, I'm running. Actually, Aether Shroud. Fuck it. Let's get a few more. Come on. There's another camo. Love to see it. All right, now I'm out. We're at 125 kills with this thing. And our Boutique camo. And our Maniac camo. Cool. So that means we can get off of Aether Shroud entirely. And I'm putting Tesla Storm on. All right, I'm at 10k now. Time to head through the portal. And I guess for right now, I won't grab Jug, but I'll grab the Loose Change. I really just need Quick Revive. Not even just to like revive me, but that health regen is going to help so much. I got to grab it as fast as possible before too many zombies start spawning in. So kill him, open that up, grab that. Please stay away from me, zombies. Perfect. Oh, there's a jackrabbit metal. Holy shit, no way. I think that's our first one. Let's head through this portal and let's start grabbing our portal parts. We're gonna need that. Holy shit, there's a lot of zombies out here already. Let's grab the little TV. We gotta go into here. Where's the flashlight? It's behind the counter. No, it's not. Is it in his hands? It is. Give me that. Disgusting. I need to start dwindling this round down though. Otherwise, there's gonna be no chance that I'd repair this portal. Okay, Burger Town, open. Friar cage, please let me grab it before the zombies climb over. Thank you. Ooh, that was close. I wonder if that glitch spot still works. Let me try it out. If I stand right here, scoop back, and fall off. Cool. So it still works how I use it, where I just eat shit every time. All right, let me try one more time. Inch over. Nope. I went flying off. That zombie's on the tree, though. Let's go. You guys have never seen zombie on a tree before. That actually... Might be the perfect way to set up a round with no zombies in it. It's kind of like I'm on Firebase C. You can throw down an essence trap, trap a zombie in it. And then for the three minutes, you're going to have nothing on the map. Does it work the same with this? I'm sure he'll despawn once I like change areas or like maybe get too far away. But for right now, he is chilling on that tree. Never mind. He just died. Rest in peace, zombie tree or tree zombie. We'll never forget you. All right. Tesla storm time. Let's do it. Get a few kills here. This should help with our jackrabbit. And I'm just making money off these guys. Okay, there's one zombie left, though. I'm going to go ahead and leave him. This is the only opportunity I have to build this portal. I just have to outrun him entirely. Oh, no. He despawned and respawned over here. Please be fast building it. Nope. Get away. All right. I got to build this in between rounds. Perfect. Let's head on through. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, actually. Oh, I guess as long as I don't open this door, the abomination won't spawn. But if I don't open this door, I'm probably going to get pinned over here. So let's open it up. I just got to try to keep in mind that these first few rounds are going to be the hardest. Where I have no armor, no perks, and no pack-a-punch sickle or hammer. So as long as I get through these, I'll be able to get through the whole game. Uh-oh, I literally almost got cornered as I was saying that. The zombies in here kind of seem slower than outside. So I'm kind of coasting. I can just dwindle this round down until we can spawn in the abomination. Oh, I dwindled it all the way down. All right, get that abomination in here right now. Come on. What's up, dude? Can I hit you yet? There we go. Eat it. Take it. Oh, he's gonna fucking kill me. Run! <laughs> Are you gonna charge at me, huh? Yeah, scream. There goes your mouth. Do it again. Yeah, you can't, can you? Because you're asleep. I'm out of here. Let's go pack a punch this thing. First, we got to lift the lockdown. Bam. Get the loose change from PhD. And now we can pack a punch it. This is what the hammer and sickle looks like. Pack a punch one. Pretty nice. Great camo coverage on this. All right, now I'm going to need a few more perks. Give me stamina up. Okay, now I'm going to need meal kick. That's going to help out a lot for those stun and distracted kills. If I can keep my tacticals. Is that a monkey bomb? Give me that. You guys can go play around with this thing. There you go. Enjoy. Let me get a few kills on you, though. There we go. There's our boundary. Let's get away before it blows me up. No jackrabbit camo for that? Weak. No. No, 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 no. Shit. Come back here. Whew. All right. I have no self-revive, no quick revive. I'm scared. I don't have enough for a self-revive. I'm hitting my Tesla Storm, and I'm just buying quick revive back. Uh, let's also get speed cola and death perception. Unfortunately, we'll not be able... To get mule kick back right away. That's all right. We can save. Just to help myself out here, I'm grabbing shatter blast. And I'm going back to spawn. It's going to be a lot easier to train there. Let's see if this helps. What? Where's my shatter blast? Of course, it comes out too late with no zombies on the ground. Oh, wait, there's one. 
Get over here. Whew. Well, there goes my self-revive again, or my quick revive. That's not good. And I'm too broke to buy it back. I am not in a good situation right now. Well, bonus points. We take those. Let's get these guys stunned. Knock out some of this camo. There we go. We're at threshold. We need 10 more. And then we don't have to deal with the stunned or distracted kills ever again. And we've got our first jackrabbit camo. Perfect. Now it's time to haul ass and try to get quick revive. We got it. Safe and sound. Might grab a tombstone at this point with how much I'm going down. Might need it. Might come in handy. Now it's time to work on those jackrabbit camos. So let's do this. Get them all in one nice neat pile. And then shatter blast, hopefully. There we go. That's a jackrabbit. Let's keep moving. Fuck a plague hound. Eat ass. Get in there, monkey bomb. Get distracted. Let me finish this camo. That should be it right there. That is so many kills. Let's go. All done with the distracted kills. Now I can just use decoys for fun. My goal right now is try to get jackrabbits done before pack-a-punch kills. I don't think I've ever done that before. Actually, I might have done it one time, but we're going to focus on it today. Everybody on that. There we go. We'll hit this so nobody touches me. Shatter blast these guys. That's another jackrabbit metal. We take those. Insta-kill also kind of helps out, especially with Tells the Storm going because zombies just instantly die right when I walk by them. It's kind of busted. We're actually doing pretty well now. Knock on wood. The second I start congratulating myself for doing well, I'm going to start doing worse. Oh, what's up, Abomination? Bitch. I got Pack-a-Punch now. Oh, you don't seem to care that much, actually. You have a lot of health. Is that a self-revive? Let's fucking go. Don't need to spend any money on one. Uh-oh. Almost had to use it immediately, though. Ooh, almost got him. Run, run, run. Later, Abomination. Yeah, go ahead and scream, bitch. He's about to laser me. Not gonna happen, pal. This would be the perfect time for Shatter Blast while Double Points is going. I'd be rich. Actually, Tesla Storm. I can get rich this way and get some jackrabbits done. But speaking of being rich, we can get Pack-a-Punch too. We got enough money for it. This is what Pack-a-Punch 2? Oh wait, no, that's the jack-o'-lantern. This is what Pack-a-Punch 2 looks like on the hammer and sickle. Pretty nice. I love these camos. Ooh, Shatter Blast, eat. And our 10 kills rapidly is done. We're at 500 kills with the hammer and sickle already. These melee weapons just go so fast. It's probably time I start getting some perks back. I think I'll survive now. Knock on wood. Throw a decoy behind me so the zombies can fuck off. Let's get that. Let's get that. And let's get out of here. You know what? I might just do this whole thing without Jug. We've made it this far. Only gone down three times. Like, who needs it? Armor works better than Jug anyways. Could probably use PhD, though, for some nice slides out of the way. But I kind of panicked. Now I'll grab PhD because I'm not freaking out. If we got them trained up enough. Let's Tesla Storm. Corral them in. Shatter Blast. That should be another Jackrabbit. Let's go. Now I got an insta-kill, this should be another way to farm another jackrabbit, or at least get us close to one. Uh oh, there's Abomination, who says that I shouldn't have that jackrabbit. Oh, but he's dead immediately. Get one shot, bitch. Give me that scavenger camo. I need to get rid of this plague hound right now. I hate plague hounds so much. Their hitbox is so weird. Their little fart gas that comes out, stays out for too long, can ruin any jackrabbit I'm going for. And their lunge is just crazy. They'll come out of nowhere. Like, calm down. No, no, no. Almost got cornered. Not gonna happen. Not letting it happen. There we go. We're at contamination. We just need four more jackrabbits and we're done. At least done with that challenge. All right, so this has been my strat for getting these jackrabbits, especially here on the rampage inducer. Okay, no, look away, look away, look away. Oh my God, and there's a mimic. Well, I was gonna say is throw down a decoy. Turn around, hit him with your shatter blast. Should give you a decent amount towards your tesla storm and we did our glitch camo there so we're one away i need a decoy out right now hopefully sh shatter blast comes back soon it's not we need to leave we got our zebra camo getting pretty close on elites but we almost have our tesla storm we have one decoy left i'm tossing that all the zombies are gonna go on it shatter blast is gonna fuck them up is that enough for another jackrabbit let's go and now that that's over with we can grab this pop our tesla storm and get all these guys without getting hit they're gonna do no damage to us the only thing that can mess this up is if an abomination shoots us, a mangler shoots us, or our plague hound comes over here and just squirts. We're at a rotten camo. We made it. All of our normal kills are done now. You could be a little faster and use nades to get your field upgrade back up, which I will do on this plague hound, but I'm mainly avoiding them just so I can get as many kills as I can with the hammer and sickle. Did I get the plague hound with it? I did. Let's go. I'm so close to another jackrabbit. Throw that down. No, I got hit. <laughs> Dickhead. Cocksucker. But now that I have my Tesla Storm, let's go ahead and finish these Jackrabbit camos. 
That should be it right there. Show me. Go ahead. There it is. There's conviction. All done with jackrabbits. Literally just need kills now. And I think pack three is going to help with that. So here's pack a punch three on the hammer and sickle. Very nice. Looks great on here. Now all we got to do is just ball out. There we go. We're at eight special or elites. We need two more of those. Now, speaking of special or elite, there we go. Got another one unless my Tesla storm killed them. This might be our last special or elite right here. If I can get to them. The zombies are putting up a wall. They're boxing me out. Yeah, go ahead and shoot your laser, bitch. Right behind you. How are you going to get me? You can't. Sorry about it. Okay. All right. Listen. Listen. We can talk about this, man. Yeah, run over here. Stupid, dumb asshole. Go down. All done with our special elite kills now. It's literally just pack a bunch of kills, I'm pretty sure. We got to be close on that. Thanks for joining us, Mangler. See you later. Oh, wait. No, that zombie took the shot for you. All right. You can stick around for a bit. Let's throw out this decoy. This is about to be the craziest decoy kill you've seen in your life. Look at that. Almost every zombie on that decoy just died. Oh, there's Gold Viper. What? I was not expecting to get it that fast. Let's go. We're already out. Okay, let's try to exfil then. It's not often that you get done and the exfil pops up right after. So let's go do it. Don't got time for you, Mimic. Get the fuck out of my way. Let's start it up. There we go. Now, what is the fastest path to exfil? I'm pretty sure it's through the teleporter. And then once we're out, we go over to here, up the rope, and through the other teleporter. There we go. Now let's clean these guys off of the landing zone. Pop that Tesla storm because I literally would have died right there if I didn't. Uh-oh. I'm getting surrounded. The zombies are getting fucked up too, though. Let's throw down the decoy. Why is there so many plague hounds? You guys need to leave. What the fuck? Okay, I almost just downed myself with the Semtex on accident. We have two zombies. No way they take me out. There we go. Get on down here, Raptor 1. We got camos to look at. Here's our final stats. Case curious. 1,103 kills, 266 crits, zero revives, and four downs. Not bad. All right, let's take a look at what the hammer and sickle looks like with these mastery camos. There's gold viper. It's only showing the hammer right now. Sickle sold separately. <laughs> they actually just only show the camo for the hammer. That's pretty funny. The gold viper, not too bad on it. Plague diamond, nothing bad to say about it either. Dark aether, pretty clean. Dark aether looks good on just about everything. And the coverage on this is basically what you'd, you'd hope to see on a melee weapon. The part you hit them with, got the camo. The part you hold, don't. Let's go ahead, look in game and see what the sickle looks like because we can't see it here. All right, this is what the hammer and sickle look like in game with dark aether. The coverage on this looks really nice. Exactly what you want to see in a melee weapon, like I mentioned before. But I don't like how Dark Aether completely, like, darkens out when I try to inspect it. It looks so vibrant in my hand, and then I look at it, and it's like obsidian. Hate to see it. Actually, some color is starting to come in. Wait for it. Now, by the time we inspect it, it'll have the perfect amount of purple. Ooh! clean there you have it it's kind of bittersweet but that was our second to last dark aether again let me know if you want to see me stream me getting the scythe dark aether or you just want to see a video on it either one works for me but i want to kind of make it special since it's the very last one but anyways that's where we're gonna end today's video so if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't and you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put all kinds of cod content throughout the week uh, if you want to keep up with me outside of youtube links to my instagram and my twitter are down below as well as a link to our discord if you want to go ahead and join that but that's gonna be it for me today I'll see you guys next time. Later.